ship destroyed. Initiate emergency repair. Admiral! Systems failing! Hull bulking! We can't take much more! Engaging engines! Race for impact! The flagship has been destroyed! The battle is lost! All vessels, prepare to retreat! Disengage! Disengage! Cadia fell at Abaddon's hand. Captain, Zenos contact! All ahead full! Maximum burn! Prepare for engines! Now! Disengaging! These are the closing days of the 41st millennium. The 13th Black Crusade tears through the Aegis Ocularis, the space surrounding the dreaded Eye of Terror. Worlds burn as chaos makes a push for holy terror, the ashes of Cadia flowing in its wake as the combined might of the Imperium desperately tries to stem the tide. The ever opportunistic forces of the galaxy Eldari, Drukhari, Orcs, and worse besides, make their own plays for glory, dominance, and survival. Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 features three grand campaigns controlling five factions. This is Commodore Travo. Chaos forces have launched a full-scale planet strike. Offering Imperial, Tyranid, and Necron perspectives on the greatest conflict to ever befall the Milky Way. Surrender, or be destroyed. Each tells its own unique story, with individual mechanics and completely different ships and strategies available. Lord Inquisitor, our forward explorers have located a Tyranid bio-vessel. The Aegis Ocularis is divided into sectors, and each sector contains multiple systems. You begin with a small fleet and control of just one system. From there, you must expand across the entire Eye of Terror. Admiral Spire, you are late. We have held vigil over Antharic's forces for many days. They have unique attributes, be it an agri world that helps your other systems grow, or an Adeptus Mechanicus research lab that improves your ships. With chaos flooding the galaxy, it's up to you to reclaim these worlds and put them to work for your faction. See what has washed up on the Eye of Terror's tides. Admiral Spire. In the Imperium campaign, you control the combined fleet of Admiral Spire. He brings together Adeptus Mechanicus, Space Marine, and Imperial Navy ships as one final bulwark to fight against the coming of Abaddon. Masterful plan. The Tyranids are a new foe to Killiman. Peace is not an option. You will fight battles of ever increasing scale, reclaiming territory and using it to fuel your war machine. Upgrade ships and your fleet. Pick your preferred playstyle from the massive selection of ships available. The enemy will not leave you to your riches, so prepare defenses and secure your most valuable systems as best you can. Build new fleets and assign new admirals to continue your expansion and win the war. To submit is folly. Necron needs are very different. Great tombs and buried docks to be opened and unearthed. Pylons to push back chaos and mysteries of the galaxy to be unlocked. The Tyranids' rapacious appetite and need for destruction manifests in a completely different set of galaxy map mechanics. They deploy vanguard forces to infiltrate systems long before they arrive. 
Once taken over, worlds are consumed over time. This slowly reduces their output until nothing but ash, bones, and biomass remain of once great colonies. Each faction also has a unique narrative arc as they rise to control or decimate the Aegis Ocularis. We shall prevail in the Emperor's name. All three are totally separate, totally new storylines for Warhammer 40,000. They take the galaxy, its heroes and villains in new, unforeseen directions. It shall be as you say. While Imperial and Necron characters explain their goals and motivations during their campaigns, the Tyranid story is told through those that High Fleet Leviathan comes into contact with. This shows how fear, desperation, and infighting can doom entire species. We have encountered a Tyranid High Fleet. Impossible as it seems, our situation has grown worse. There can be no forgiveness for what you are about to attempt. As you progress, Annihilation Arcs will grant the opportunity to wipe out other factions from the map. This will stop them creating new fleets and attacking your power bases, giving you much needed respite and revenge. Throughout it all, you will be taking part in spectacular battles, including special scripted missions featuring the biggest, baddest ships of the 40k universe. Reboot Gilliman's Gloriana. We shall render it to dust. Orcs hunting space whales. Orcs is the beast! the Tyranid Ancient One, and many more make an appearance through the campaigns. All this playable in co-op, with each player controlling half the fleet in each battle. Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 is a massive experience, with hours upon hours of missions and narrative for each of the three campaigns. This is on top of the 12 factions in Ranked Multiplayer, Skirmish, and 2v2. They have all their own skills, upgrades, sub-factions, settings, nigh-infinite possible maps, and much more. The devastating broadsides and keen tactical manoeuvring of Warhammer 40k's space naval combat return, but with more options, new factions, and bigger armadas with improved mechanics. When a battle begins, you first deploy your fleet from one of the 12 playable factions. Engaging drive! Space is not empty, so take into account the layout of the battlefield. Capture points, minefields, drifting wreckage, gas clouds, and more will keep you on your toes. Enemy ships initially appear as radar blips, the tonnage and armament of each enemy vessel being a mystery. Every faction approaches stealth in a different way, with some capable of completely hiding their entire force through advanced technology or ancient secrets, while others use the environment to do so. Your probes and scout fighters allow you to spy on the enemy fleet before engaging them. Taking heavy damage! We bring ten. Your orders! Maneuvering is critical, and unique faction-based abilities allow you to move and position your ships. Powerful Imperial engines, the enigmatic bone sculptures of the Azayani, terrifying organic constructions of the Tyranids, each faction has its own playstyle. Your selection of factions, ships, admiral skills, fleet upgrades, and strategy will all influence how you approach and fight the enemy. There will be no escape. The light and fast vessels of Drakari pirate fleets dart in and out of combat, unleashing volleys of energy and escaping before retaliation can be dealt. Corrupted battlecruisers, bastions to chaos worship, pound enemy hulls with massive lances at great distance, while ramshackle orc vessels and horrifying turreted bioweapons prefer to close in for the kill through sheer brute force. The armoured prows of your vessels are as deadly as your weapons, and ramming is an effective way to finish off a wounded foe or utterly annihilate a smaller ship. Tractor beams, micro warp drives, and other faction specific abilities are vital for getting the enemy in range for a devastating impact. Get him! Let the galaxy burn! 
for the Emperor. Welcome to part two of our Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 Battle Overview. Today we'll show you all the destruction wrought as the space battles of Warhammer 40,000 reach their crescendo, ships begin to tear apart, and the cold void hungers for souls. We've seen in part one how your ship's devastating weapons can obliterate an enemy fleet, but brute force isn't the only way to bring them to their knees. Targeting their crew and sapping morale is just as devastating. You ain't the boss of me! Terror weapons, close assaults from teleporting troops, or particularly disastrous weapons fire and the loss of allied vessels will all panic the crew of affected ships. Odds of survival falling. To the point where the captain may mutiny against their admiral and try to flee the battle. No, we must escape. Disengage, disengage. Full speed. Crews can also be killed by boarding actions, fires, and the cold vacuum of space. Let us hurl these brittle Xenos into the void. This reduces the effectiveness of the ship, or even disables it completely, turning it into a floating hulk to be destroyed or reclaimed. Faction-specific admiral skills become extremely valuable as the fight descends into chaos. The Necron mass recall can bring every one of their ships into one all-important skirmish, abandoning the rest of the battlefield to focus fire on an enemy strategic location or flagship. Tyranid ships closing with their enemies have deadly hooking tentacles to pull in smaller and faster ships that might otherwise make a getaway. Your battlefield may also be subjected to unforeseen events. A migration of space titans, plasma storms, asteroid strikes, or a map swarmed with erratically moving natural predators make every battle unique and force you to adapt. The battle ends when all enemy ships are defeated, or you have gathered enough points combined from destroyed enemy ships and captured zones. But one battle will not win the war for the Aegis Ocularis, or stop the 13th Black Crusade. Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2's pre-order beta starts today. Pre-order now to play on PC.